Hey, Tommy from The Run Test here with another running shoe versus. In this video, I'm going to be looking at two shoes that you're probably going to look for if you're after a cushioned daily shoe. Now, that is the Hocker Clifton 9 and the 86 Gel Nimbus 25. Now, I was sent the Gel Nimbus 25 from Sport Shoes. I'm not paid to do this review or anything like that, uh, but they sent me this so that I could actually review it. So, thanks a lot for Sport Shoes for sending this across. Let's jump in to the review. The A6 Gel Nimbus costs £175 or $160. It weighs in at 298 grams or 10.5 ounces for men in the size 8 and the drop is 8 millimeters. The Hocker Clifton 9 costs £130 or $145, weighs in at 247 grams or 8.7 ounces for men in a size 8 and the drop is 5 millimeters. The Gel Nimbus 25 sees some big changes from the previous version. As well as noticeably revamped aesthetics, the shoe now firmly sits in the max cushioned category. The new FF Blast Plus Eco Cushioning, combined with ASIC's Pure Gel technology, aims to give a softer, more comfortable experience for easy and longer runs. There's an engineered knit upper for a stretchy feel that's also designed to offer a good level of breathability, a knit collar construction for a plush, flexible fit, an Ortholite X55 sock liner for extra comfort, and a healthy covering of AHAR outsole rubber for grip and durability. The Clifton 9 sees some modifications to its predecessors, specifically to make it lighter and to offer a higher level of cushioning. It's a shoe designed for comfort over daily runs, featuring a softer compression molded EVA foam midsole, a breathable engineered knit upper, and a gusseted tongue. The shoe also includes an early stage meta rocker to improve heel to toe transition, a modest covering of outsole rubber for grip and durability, and geometry designed to improve stability. Okay, nice and simple on fit for these. True to size in both of them, I think they're both very comfortable shoes and had no issues at all. So these two shoes are not necessarily in the same camp. Um, the Clifton 9 has always been classed as a sort of cushioned easy day shoe, but it's veering more towards the daily shoe series now because you've got a lot of shoes coming up that are pretty high high stack. And uh, a lot of the older shoes that we look at, which we originally talked about being uh, cushion shoes, now veer more towards that daily thing because um, because they they have much smaller uh, stacks heights than some of those bigger shoes. Um, but the way that these two shoes are sold or marketed, they're both sold as daily trainers. And the Asics Gel Nimbus 25, I mean, it is a max cushion shoe, but it's really being being touted as a a daily trainer for people that want something that can can do lots of different runs in, uh, and that's what the Clifton Nine is as as well. Now I've done probably about seventy k in each of these shoes, um, and I do like both of them. I'm a fan of both of these shoes, which is interesting because I've never been a fan of the Clifton range. I've always found that Clifton shoes, uh, the midsole is always a bit firm for me feels a bit dull and I've just never really got on with them. I like a lot of cushioning in my shoes. I like to have a little bit of energy return, a little bit of bounce if I can. Um, and just hocker shoes have just never done that for me. The Clifton 9 is a bit different actually because the, uh, the, the hocker have updated the midsole in this and it just feels a little bit softer. It feels a little bit more enjoyable. And when I've been out running in this shoe, I've, I, I instantly felt it when I put it on and I thought this is different. This is a different sort of shoe than the previous Clifton shoes, which I very rarely used because they just didn't feel good for me. Um, but I do like running in this shoe, and I think it's a it's a nice upgrade to the Clifton range. What I would say is that it's a Clifton, and people love the Clifton. It's got uh, it's one of those legacy shoes that has a massive audience of people that really love it. So Hocker can't go that far away from what people know and love about it. So the changes are fairly subtle. It's a little bit softer, but you do notice that softness on the run. It just feels like it's a little bit more to the shoe than in the previous ones. So a big fan of the Clifton 9. I think it's a, a big improvement on the shoe. The AC Shield number 25 is uh, another shoe that's seen a lot of updates. And in fact, in comparison to the 24, it's always a different shoe that it's if you put the 24 and 25 next to each other, they look like they're completely different shoes altogether. And in many ways they are, it's almost a complete redesign of the shoe. Um, but it is a really solid max cushion shoe. It's um, very comfortable. Uh, it's got a nice balanced midsole. It's not particularly soft. It's not that hard, um, which makes it applicable to a lot of people. And yeah, I very much enjoy running the shoe. In fact, most of the run testers have enjoyed running in the gel numbers 25. It's um, been an exciting shoe for us to test. 
Um, so what I would say between these two shoes is that they are quite similar in a lot of ways. I'd probably use these for the same sorts of runs. I definitely wouldn't use the Clifton 9 for all my daily training miles. It's just not versatile enough for me for those runs. I'd use it as a, a longer run, an easy run shoe. And it, with that new midsole foam, it is significantly better. It's more enjoyable to run in. It's a little bit softer on the legs. Um, and for me, it just feels like it's got a bit of a nicer turnover as well because that softer midsole foam does mean that it's just giving you a little bit more back than before where it was a little bit clumpy and just a little bit too firm for me from that uh, EVA midsole foam that was in the previous Clifton versions. The gel nib is 25. It's pretty similar as well. I would use it for exactly the same reasons. It, easy daily runs, uh, longer runs at a slower pace. And I think it's a fantastic option for that as well. So really it's a difficult one for me to choose between these two shoes um, and for most of the runs that I do either of these would be fine. Um, so I think it really does come down largely it's a price for these because the price of the Clifton 9 is significantly lower than the price of the Gel Nimbus 25 which I've said in many videos it's, it just seems too expensive for me. It's a very expensive shoe for something that is really doing your easy day runs and your longer training runs um, and it's not very versatile. Whereas this is a bit cheaper, uh, Clifton 9, so it's probably a better option for that. Um, but aside from those things, the only other things to notice about these shoes, the outsole is them is pretty similar as well. There's a bit of a spattering of rubber on there. I've had no issues with grip in either of these shoes. They feel completely fine on all the surfaces that I've run in. It's not the best grip in the world. It's still a fairly average grip. I mean, you're looking at things like Puma grip and stuff like that, which is far superior to what you get on these shoes, but it's not bad. I've never slipped over in these shoes and I do feel like they're fine um, on all the surfaces that I've run in, including coastal paths uh, covered in rain. Other than that, the upper is very comfortable as well. And they both feel relatively uh, mid-weight on the feet. They're not light shoes. Uh, they're not particularly heavy shoes, but um, yeah, they just tick a lot of boxes uh, as it comes to sort of daily training cushion shoes. <laughs> So my verdict on the Clifton 9 and the A6 Gel Nimbus 25 is that they are very sim. They deliver a similar thing. I think both of these shoes don't really excel in any area. Um, I would say the A6 Gel Nimbus 25 is a shoe that's designed for access accessibility for everyone, so that it's got a nice balanced midsole foam. It's good for daily runs, good for easy runs, all those sorts of things. Um, and most people will find it to be a very comfortable shoe that ticks those off very nicely. When you compare it with shoes like the New Balance More V4 and stuff like that, it's not as soft. I prefer the New Balance More V4s, so I think it's just a bit more to it. I, I like the softer feel to that shoe uh, and the little bit of the energy return you get from it as well. Uh, the Clifton 9, again, doesn't excel for me in any area. I think it's an improvement on the previous versions, but again, I don't think it's a shoe that you'd reach for if you desperately wanted a certain type of running. I think, again, it's designed for the masses. It's an accessible shoe, I think. If you get this, you're not going to be annoyed of it, but then again, you're not going to be wowed by it. It's going to just tick the boxes, uh, and you're going to be you're going to be happy with it. Um, but it is an improvement on the Clifton uh, previous version, so well worth taking that into consideration. Things that you might compare with this as well, because it's a little bit less cushioned than the A6 Gel Nimbus 25, maybe would be something like the New Balance Fresh Foam 1080 V12, um, which I think is not as good as this. Um, I would have said that the previous versions weren't as good as the New Balance Fresh Foam 1080 V12, but now I think with the new midsole foam, with the updated midsole foam in here, it is a superior shoe. So I think this is a great cushion daily option, um, and you're not going to go wrong with it, but I, I just don't think either of these shoes has anything that I'd really um, shout about in terms of how where they excel. The, how I choose between these shoes, it would be price. It's just going to come down to price, and the price of the A6 Gel Nimbus 25 is just too much for me for a a shoe that really there's so many other shoes out there that could compete with this shoe in what it does and a lot of them are cheaper um well most of them are cheaper uh so i think it just comes down to price i think the clifton 9 uh, is priced well for for what it is i think it's, it's going to deliver what everyone wants um and yeah i i definitely would go for this over this if it, it came down to price Okay, so that's it from me on the Hocker Clifton 9 and the A6 Gel Nimbus 25. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the little bell. And don't forget, we've also got our podcast. And if you go into the caption below, you can find a link to the most recent of those. Uh, and we hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you next time. <laughs>